In fact, it's a very big problem, one that has been stalking me for years now. And you may be saying to yourself, did I just stumble upon a video about cable management? Well, kind of, yes and no. We need to deal with this issue. We're surely gonna find some interesting stuff. But if you stay tuned to the end, I've got some big news for you. So there is an incentive to watch. So let's just hang out and think about it. All these cables, all this is gonna be dealt with and you're not gonna to have to lift a finger. You just get to deal with me talking and watching me deal with it. Anyway, that's what the show is gonna be about today. And if you look at this pile, we've got some interesting things. I do see an N64 remote control, some other odds and ends. I think there's a pencil sharpener over there to the left. There is even a bag or two in there. I don't have great cable management skills, as you can tell. So, it needed to happen. So I'm gonna take this bag of rubber bands. What the heck else is in there? Bag of rubber bands. And I'm gonna bundle these together categorize them and store them properly because I've got a cable for everything as you can tell I just don't know where any of it is and I can't get to any of it so <laughs> this needs to happen so I dragged this out of the vaults today so let's take a gander at how much of an improvement I can make over this pile of wires I promise you although it's probably hard to believe you're not gonna want to miss this <laughs> Recordology. Okay, so my goal is to take the rubber bands and sort of segregate things into groups. This is going to be my power cord pile. This is going to be my USB pile, RCA to RCA bundle pile, and speaker wire. And there's an RCA one-off needs to be over here. But I'm going to have these miscellaneous things like this. It's an old PlayStation cable, I think. It needs to go away. And this is probably not safe anymore, I'm thinking. You ever want to see what the inside of a transformer looks like? Or a wall wart. Power inverter. It's got to go in the trash. You have to check every bulb. A little knot here. You work on that. I'll get the other box. By the way, those of you that have wondered, this nasty cut or scratch wasn't from anything that exciting. I literally scraped it on the side of a desk. Um, but this cable, this very rigid coaxial cable, RF cable, reminds me of my television days because when we would wrap cables, especially things of, you know, intricate pin configurations, this obviously is not, but like XLR cables, camera cables, and stuff of that nature, we used to have to always do this over, under, under, over method when you're rolling them up. You can't just kind of, you know, coil them around like a power cord or something like that. Luckily, none of this stuff here is gonna matter that much, plus I've got apparently a million of everything, so that should speed up the process. I'm about 30 minutes in, I think I've made a sizable dent in the pile, but we continue. Okay guys, I just realized I had another drawer full I had forgotten about. Dang it! Missy, missy, missy. Okay, we've defeated the monster mega pile, and in its place we have about 20 mini piles, including this, the miscellaneous pile, some car adapters, FM antenna coil, and this guy right here is just kind of weird. This is an HDMI to DVI. I don't even know that was a thing. Two bundles of speaker wire. One RCA to eighth inch. And one pile of eighth inch to eighth inch. Came up with a lot less RCA bundles than I thought I had, but that's what I came up with right there. UPC power cords and an extension cord. A monstrosity of a pile of wall warts. Every amperage and wattage known to man, probably. An equally disgusting pile of USB cables. Every type under the sun. With one, only one, USB C. Everything else something else 
Pleasantly surprised to come up with a bunch of these AC power cords. A lot of the tape decks run off of these, so they're handy. I didn't think I had this many. Another miscellaneous pile here. These are more like adapters and short conversion cables. There's the leftover rubber bands. Came up with a few um, VGA cables and a few HDMI cables. Fewer bricks than I thought I would have, USB power supply bricks. I've got some computer accessory, power supplies, a couple microphones, and this, this microphone is the one off of that uh, Tyler tape deck. This really weird single ear with microphone earbud. A couple of remote controls, a phone holder, some gaming stuff, some Nintendo 64 controllers. I think there's a GameCube power supply, pencil sharpener, laptop bag, and some Cat5, Cat6 cabling. Yeah, I definitely don't need all this. So I'm gonna be downsizing quite a bit of these things, uh, donating what I don't need, and then keeping what I do need. Okay, that was even less fun than I thought it was going to be, but still rewarding. That process, or that project, I should say, has been nagging at me for some time. It needed to happen. It was getting harder and harder to find everything, even though I knew right where it was in that very Griswoldish ball of cabling. <laughs> so thank you for watching an episode about cabling. You are the best people, the true fans, as it were. Thank you so much. Now, I did promise that if you endured this episode, which I hope was still fun and entertaining and interesting, um, and I appreciate you being there, but I promised you that I would have a little bit of information for you. We are going to do Vlogmas. So that means we're going to do a daily episode December 1st through December 25th. In addition to the regular Recordology shows. How are we going to come up with this many shows I'm not sure yet, but they're going to be as good as I can possibly make them. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't really like, you know, the vlog style shows. I really want, you know, technical content. We're going to do both in tandem. So stay tuned. I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but we're going to do it well, as well as we can. And not only that, but we're also going to make it better this year by taking your feedback the shows that got the more, more views than others, trying to emulate those types of shows. With all the social distancing and things, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'm not sure what attractions. I've already looked into it a little bit. Some things are going to be open, some aren't. But you can always look at Christmas lights and uh, Santa Claus. Although, actually, <laughs> I did hear about, uh, we have this North Pole place, which we need to check out. We didn't do that last year. So It's a theme park, a Christmas theme park. And uh, Santa Claus is taking visits in a socially distant way. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, Johnny, why don't you go within six feet of Santa and sort of shout your Christmas list. And mom and I will go outside so we don't overhear anything. So just bizarre times we're living in. Bizarre times. But anyway, I want to let you know we are doing that. So that'll be fun. Christmas is always the biggest time of the year for us when we get the most new people on board. And if you are new here, by the way, thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all so you don't miss a single thing, including notifications of when we go live or we give away stuff. And that's the other little bit of news. When we hit 10,000 subs, which is closer than you think, I can't believe we're getting there. I never thought it would happen. I give away some awesome. So this is to serve notice to you. Make sure you hit the bell, hit all, so you don't miss that notification. We're going to do it shortly after we hit 10,000 subs. And that's dictated by you guys. So again, the majority of you guys don't actually subscribe that watch this channel. So if you haven't done it yet, if you've been putting it off, why wait? Do it now. You might be in the running to win something awesome. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for being there. I promise tomorrow's show will be more interesting. And I appreciate you being there through today's. Happy record hunting. Happy cable management. We will see you tomorrow.